A final reminder about the gate changes from Me TV. Starting tomorrow, November 22nd, the Reese Road gate closes for renovations for about four weeks. During that time, the now dormant Mapes Road and 175 gate will serve as the installation's main access point. Also during the Reese gate closure, the Llewellyn gate will be open Monday through Friday from 5.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Hello and welcome to Me Week on Brian Spam. Also this week it's all about the holidays. The Wellness Center presents a holiday challenge. We'll check the Thanksgiving dinner hours on post and breakfast with Santa. These stories and more. But first, next Thursday is Thanksgiving. It's perhaps a time for overindulgence. I spoke with Army Wellness Center Director Jamie Vallis about their challenge to the community during the holiday season. The holiday challenge is basically a challenge to the Fort Meade community to encourage everyone to stay on track uh, during the holiday season, which we know can be uh, a bit difficult sometimes with all the holiday parties and snacks and things like that. So um, basically people come into the Army Wellness Center, acknowledge that they want to participate in the holiday challenge this year. Uh, we sign them up, they take part in an assessment, then they come back in about 30 days for a follow-up appointment. Um, and they're entered in a raffle for a prize. Coming up tomorrow, Saturday, November 22nd, Army Community Services here at Fort Meade is hosting a National Family Volunteer Day. With us, we have Kaja Miles, who is one of our volunteers. We have Lisa Schindler, who is also one of our volunteers. We have Pia Morales, who is our Mobilization and Deployment Program Manager. And we also have Johanna, who is uh, Quintero, who is also one of our ACS volunteers. Uh, what we're going to be doing is making a lot of arts and crafts and we're going to support three um, different uh, demographics. So I'm going to talk about one of them and I have my colleague Pia who's going to talk about another. So one of the demographics that we're going to uh, support are the members of our Armed Forces Retirement Homes. And Pia, you want to tell them about another thing we're going to do? Um, yes, we're going to be uh, supporting those families who have a deployed service member or deployed civilian. Through Hearts Apart, uh, we will be making a craft for families to send to their uh, deployed service member if they're extended on extended TDY or um, on an unaccompanied PCS, whatever the reason. If they are separated from their service member or civilian, uh, we will have uh, a craft for the children and the families to make. In other news, there's about a month left in this year's combined federal campaign. Recently, I ran into Defense Information School Commandant Colonel Jeremy Martin at a recent CFC Charities event at the McGill Training Center. I sat down with him this week about the CFC and his appeal as the chair for the Chesapeake Bay Area CFC campaign. I would appeal to all of those who maybe you haven't given in the past couple of years or so, maybe you fell off the scope because of last year's unpredictable fiscal climate. We welcome you back into the fold and into those new government workers, those new military folks who have joined us. Uh, please find out about CFC and give to the charity of your choice. So I would just like to encourage and thank all of those volunteers who do so much and roll up their sleeves to bring attention and to help support those charities here in our local community, across the country and around the world. Time now to check out the Thanksgiving meal schedule. First, the Freedom Inn Dining Facility. The Thanksgiving meal is scheduled from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The menu, extensive as always, features shrimp cocktail, Alaskan king crab, roast turkey, suckling pig, beef roast, and much, much more. Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley, along with other unit commanders, will be doing the serving. Club Meat is offering two seatings for Thanksgiving. The first is from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., and the second is from 2.30 to 4.30 p.m. The club event usually sells out, so make your reservations today. Call 301-677-6969 or go to www.ftmeadmwr.com for all the details. A couple of more reminders from MWR. First, another very popular event that tends to sell out. It's the annual Breakfast with Santa. It's scheduled for December 13th from 8 to 11.30 at the Fort Meade Conference Center. Tickets are limited and they do run out fast. Call 301 677 1437. And finally on this edition, Army MWR's annual Worldwide Digital Photography Contest is going on now. Entries are due by November 30th. Categories include animals, still life, people, nature and landscapes, and much more. For details and entry information, go to www.armymwr.com. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. Mead Week returns in two weeks after the holiday. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great Thanksgiving and a great Mead Week.